I was an A student in high school. Now I'm in danger of failing. Why? What's going on? For real world answers to all of your questions on nursing school and life as Dr. Wife. Yes, that is such a common question. And it is so disheartening for students because it comes at such a surprise and mm -hmm. it, it really, really affects their confidence. And oftentimes students will say, if it's this hard, maybe I'm not meant to be a nurse. Right. And so that's that's really tough. So oftentimes- You went through that. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. I remember. Yeah, I definitely did. And I will hear students say things like, this is my first C I've ever gotten. I've only ever had A's. And then of course, for those that are failing, it's even harder because mm -hmm. it, it came at such a shock and surprise. Yeah. And really the big reason for that, you know, in high school, oftentimes you're learning new information, you're memorizing things, you're learning facts, mm -hmm. you're learning when the War of 1812 was. <laughs> Those historians <laughs> guess when the War of 1812 was. I hate to pick on history all the time, but you know, it's just it's certain facts that you're remembering. Definitions, um, working on understanding basic things, and this is pro providing the foundation for college. I thought this oh, is a beautiful gorgeous. view. That is a beautiful view. And this is a beautiful view. Aww. So. Thank you. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, so much of high school is based on, on learning facts and understanding new information, new, new topics that you're learning sure. about a variety of subjects. And that's really how the first couple of years of college is. You're yeah. taking English, math, science classes, and some of it is reviewed from high school. And then, of course, they go a little bit further with more information. But then you get into nursing classes. And now, instead of having all of these test questions on facts, you find that as you go through the nursing program, the questions get more and more complicated yeah. and they turn into story problems mm -hmm. and they're more about application. So applying information, applying knowledge that, what is the that? Questions oh, those become, are bees. Yeah, bee, uh, bee houses, beehives, bee, bee houses. Bee houses. Yeah, bee, bee apartment bee complex. Condos. Bee condos. Bee this condos. is Nashville. Those are bee condos. I'd be confused with Marie Kondo. <laughs> Questions uh, become more complicated because we, they require yes. a greater yes. synthesis of information. Ooh, I love synthesis. I didn't say that word. You, you just mm. freak on what I said. Sometimes. Synthesis. My husband says something smart. So there's this there's this <laughs> triangle that educators learn about called Bloom's Taxonomy. Mm. It shows that at the base of learning, you start with facts and just basic information. And that as you go up the triangle, as you go towards the peak of the triangle, it takes more and more critical thinking to get towards the top, where at the top, you're at the highest level of critical thinking, you're um, creating new information, and steps along the way would be like application and synthesis of, of information. And so when you're in high school, you're tested at the base of the triangle. You're tested on your ability to remember and recall facts and information. And in the first couple of years of college, you're tested on your ability to recall facts and information. But then you get to nursing class you're gonna learn some new information and some facts but very quickly you're gonna find that the tests involve applying that information in new scenarios and so if you're used to memorizing lines out of your textbook that's yeah. not gonna help you on a nursing test because you're not gonna see a line from your textbook in the exam you're gonna see a scenario a case study a, yeah. you're gonna see a story problem and you're gonna to have to use the information you learned in your textbook and then apply it in a scenario with a patient and a nurse. And that leap from recalling information to actually applying it is, is a big jump. It's a big leap for, for sure. students. And so oftentimes that's the first time they've been tested in that way. They oftentimes will see a drop in their grades, a drop in their exam scores, um, because just memorizing lines out of their book is not gonna help them pass the test. They have to actually really understand the information. They have to be able to explain it, be able to teach it, and be able to compare and contrast it to other things that they've learned. And then they have to recall things that they learned the semester before in a previous nursing class. Yeah. 
they're responsible for that too. So it all builds on previous knowledge. So all of that is a big reason why students usually, even though they're doing well in high school and doing well in college initially, they start taking those nursing classes and they get hit with that big transition from, from basic classes or basic questions to application style questions and they can really struggle. So. That's, uh, that's a really thorough answer. I mean, I had a valedictorian in my class. She graduated at the top of her high school class and she was failing pharmacology and she came to see me probably halfway through the semester and she explained to me that she had never studied for a test before and just couldn't understand why she wasn't doing well in her classes. This was the first time she'd ever failed anything in her life. Mm. And she told me that she didn't even know how to study because she could just memorize things in high school and take tests and do well. So we had to work together to just kind of teach her how to learn and how to study so that she could tackle those questions. Synthesize information. <laughs> there you go again. Wow. Nursing school won't feel so tough. Helping others won't be so rough. You are confident, compassionate, and so much more. But sometimes it feels like you're not too sure. So when